Now that is a very unusual hat. I wonder what's under a hat such as that. It could be the creature they call the gazette, who balances things on his head, cause it's flat. Or a strap loving pipester from Upper Mount Bat. Or a sort of a, kind of a, hats wearing cat. I can see you got quite a mind for your age. Why, one think, you drag me right onto stage. Now I'm here, there's no telling what may ensue. With a cat such as me, and a thinker like you. Oh, the things you can think, oh, the things you can think, if you're willing to try. Think invisible ink, or a gink with a stink, or a stare to the sky. If you open your mind, We're here at the Elizabeth Stedden to watch the Seussical. It's a magical musical. It's a mixture of Dr. Seuss's best books and stories. We're going to look inside now at the different cast and production. Seuss, Seuss, Seuss. All the things you can think, anything you can think, can come up with a few. All the things you can think, think a trip on a ship. I'm here with the cat in the hat herself, Candace. Are you ready to Seuss it up? Yeah, definitely. Are you excited? Mm. The cast is very lively, very energetic, kind of gets you, I don't know what the word is, like gets you in the mood, so it's not very difficult, but towards the beginning it was quite challenging. <laughs> The cat's very naughty, mischievous, very, she likes messing things up, causing trouble, you know, but towards the end she puts things back together and then happy ending, you know, very fairy tale. And so to the man with the sideburns with the greasy black moustache. Oh, excuse me, madam. So to the man from the circus. So. In Seussical the Musical, I play Horton the Elephant. He's pretty much the hero of the show, the protagonist. We follow him throughout his journey. He finds a clover, dustbag on a clover with a planet on it, and those are the who's that live on it. And the whole play is his journey. He loses it, he finds it, he sits on an egg. He's our main character. I meant what I said. And I said what I meant. An elephant's faithful, 100%. This is my fifth Young Performers project and it's the maximum you can do because it's only for high scholars. Um, going from film to coming back on stage, it's just a matter of capping or not capping your emotions. With the film, you're trying to keep it in the space, and in the theatre, you're trying to fill everything you see behind you right here, so that someone in the very back can hear every word you say and see every facial expression. So those are just polar opposites, really. Um, it's a great, great experience for the young kids. They get to work with um, professionals, the lighting, the sound, the stage management, the costumes, the directors, the choreographers, the voice coaches um, are all professionals. But the kids are all from high schools, surrounding areas. This year we actually have Josh, who's still a junior school um, student because he's just so talented. And it's a great, great experience for the kids. With the cast of only 25, it's half what we normally have, so people are playing way more characters. 25 of us are really close to it as well over the time. We only have two months and it's during weekends, but we spend all that time together, we get really close knit. Our director, Stephen Stead, is absolutely amazing. I've always wanted to be directed by him, and so this has been a real honor. Hello? 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 Who's there? It's me, Jojo, the mayor's son. I'm Horton. 
the elephant. Are you real? Or are you a very large thing? Jojo is a boy with a lot of imagin imagination and he um, Im imagines everything and he imagines a cat and the cat portrays e everything. at first to portray the cats it was very far out of my comfort zone but everyone helped everyone pitched in and I think I've got it now my character is very crazy very self-centered very selfish who knew so much work was required for nothing but play? Um, my character is like a total opposite to Maisie. Um, I'm cute, I'm sweet, I'm loving, I'm caring, and I'm trying to get attention from a certain elephant. Now I've become someone who has someone to believe in and to be. Having the you know beautiful colours behind us and it's very vibrant and so it brings up all the funny like rhymes and the cat in the hat and here on Seuss. So it's amazing. Yeah, um, I also read Cats in the Hat books and it was just amazing as my fellow performer says that it brings out like the fun childlike image and everything. Huh, my favourite set designer in all the world, Greg King. Um, he's, he's an award-winning um, set designer and has been working in, in Durban for many, many years. He built a model so the kids could actually see what the set looked like before they got to stage. When kids' costumes break or their props break, out comes the glue gun and I fix it or sew it or tape it. I've done a steel set production before, um, but I was on stage. I've never been backstage. So it was very nice for me to actually learn what goes on backstage. You're here in this beautiful theatre and you're in the front row! Lucky to be in the theater. More lucky than you I think know. it was two days ago, the kangaroo came to me about a minute before we were supposed to go on and say, I can't find my prop, which is a little kangaroo that she operates. So we kind of ran around like headless chickens trying to do that. Sound off. As I am. Sound off. Sam, I am. I do not like 3X. I have. Okay, on this production, we are using 26 radio mics, which are. Uh, quite expensive and difficult to control if you're not used to handling that many. They're very small, the actual capsule head itself is only that big and every single cast member in the show is wearing one. The lyrics were written for this based on Dr. Zeus's style. Um, so that was a, I think, a fantastic idea. My favorite um, musical um, moment is right at the end um, because Horton has a little cute line he says the whole time and he says a person's a person no matter how small. So we have kids in the audience and we're in the last scene and we're all singing a person's a person no matter how we break and then the small little voices in the theater all go small and it's just the cutest little thing. So it's just so lovely to know that they're all engaged and they know what we're talking about and they're part of the experience and the story. My best is right near the end when um, Horton has been sitting on this egg for a very, very long time and it finally hatches and out comes an elephant bird. My favourite moment is when the monkeys come on and do the dance because I'm a dancer. Come on, we got a monkey, monkey around. Come on, we got working with the cast and working with the director and the choreographer and the vocal coach and just being on the stage doing what, what I love to do. All the things you can do. You can think when you think about Zeus. 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 When you think about Ze
you think about soon.